All right, Dan Lobby, Mary Kay Cap, we're going to get you ready for Browns training camp at Mary Kay. Of course, the big story is Josh Gordon reinstated conditionally. He's going to have to serve a four-game suspension, but he will be around the team. He will be in the facility. What's going to happen, though, with Josh Gordon? Is he going to be with the Cleveland Browns come week five or whatever week it is he debuts? Well, that part of it is up to him. But from the Browns' standpoint, they are going to give him every opportunity to remain with this team and be on this football team. How do we know that? Because Jim Brown basically brokered uh, this reinstatement. He worked with Josh Gordon, he worked with Roger Goodell, and I don't think that he would go through all that trouble just for the Browns to say, okay, we're going to trade you, or we're going to cut you. Yeah, and it says a lot that the, the NFL basically said, we're going to let you stay around the team, they're going to let the Browns kind of put this structure around him. And look, Hugh Jackson comes from Cincinnati. They were never shy. Marvin Lewis was never shy to bring on a guy who maybe had a background, who maybe had a history. He coached in Oakland for a couple of years. I mean, Hugh Jackson has a background with this stuff, too. He really does. I mean, there are guys like Adam Pacman Jones who thrived and flourished yeah. under Hugh Jackson. He was able to take, take guys with a little bit of a troubled pass and get them going in the right direction. I think he can have that same effect on Josh Gordon, and Josh has so much other support on the team. RG3, yeah. his Baylor quarterback, he's got great friends in Terrell Pryor, Joe Hayden. This just might work out. We'll see what happens, Josh Gordon. So far, the biggest hurdle to Josh Gordon's career has been Josh Gordon. Let's see if that changes.